Hi everyone, this is Today in History. Today is Monday, March the 18th, the 78th day of 2024. There are 288 days left in the year. On this day in 1766, the British Parliament repealed the Stamp Act of 1765 after violent protests from American colonists, including a group known as the Sons of Liberty. On this day in 1837, American politician Grover Cleveland, who was the only U.S. president to serve two discontinued terms from 1885 to 1889 and 1893 to 1897, was born. On this day in 1852, in New York City, Henry Wells and William G. Fargo join with several other investors to launch their namesake business, today one of the world's largest banks. The discovery of gold in California in 1849 prompted a huge spike in the demand for cross-country shipping. Wells and Fargo decided to take advantage of these great opportunities. On this day in 1869, Neville Chamberlain, who was Britain's Prime Minister from May 28th of 1937 to May 10th of 1940, and whose name is identified with the policy of appeasement toward Adolf Hitler's Germany, was born. On this day in 1871, the Commune of Paris, an insurrection of Parisians against the French government, began lasting until May 28th. On this day in 1902, Italian operatic tenor Enrico Caruso, one of the first musicians to document his voice on the gramophone, made his first phonograph recording. On this day in 1906, the first monoplane, constructed by the Roman inventor Trajan Buia, made a flight of 12 centimeters or 40 feet. On this day in 1932, American writer John Updike, whose novels, short stories, and poems are known for their realistic but subtle depiction of American Protestant small-town middle-class life, was born. On this day in 1936, politician F.W. de Klerk, who, as president of South Africa from 1989 to 1994, brought the apartheid system of racial segregation to an end and negotiated a transition to majority rule in his country, was born. On this day in 1964, speed skater Bonnie Blair, one of the most successful American women athletes in Olympic competition, was born in Cornwall, New York. On this day in 1965, Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, after passing through an airlock on the spacecraft Vosholt 2, became the first man to walk in space. On this day in 1974, seven member countries of OPEC lifted a five-month oil embargo against the United States. On this day in 1990, in what was considered the world's biggest art heist, two men pretending to be police officers stole 13 works, including paintings by Rembrandt and Johannes Vermeer from the Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. The stolen art was never recovered. On this day in 2000, Chin Xu Bian, a leader of the pro-independent movement that sought statehood for the Republic of China, Taiwan, was elected president of Taiwan breaking the Nationalist Party 55-year rule. On this day in 2012, Tongan King Tupou V died and was succeeded by his younger brother, Crown Prince Lavaca, who took the name Tupou VI. On this day in 2017, American singer, songwriter, and guitarist Chuck Berry, who was a leading and influential performer in rhythm and blues and rock and roll music, died at the age of 90. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Today is Monday, March the 18th, the 78th day of 2024. There are 288 days left in the year.